Hi everyone, welcome to the new challenge for this week. Um, it's not really a challenge, it is a challenge and it's not a challenge. Um, basically it's showing how to do maybe your wrapping a little different, challenging to do things a little differently than the norm. So <clears throat> I'm going to wrap up a couple of my uh, Christmas gifts for my girlfriends that I work with. And this is the box, the size of the box, what I made for each one of my staff. Um, I work, I'm a hairdresser in a nail salon, and so I made aprons for all the girls, and so I just wanted to, I'll show you what I made them. Because I crafted and sewed my little heart out to make these. But but I made little aprons for them to wear while they're doing nails. And each one is personally a little bit different than the other, um, just because it's their personalities. One likes leopard print, one likes motorcycles, <laughs> which, <laughs> that was a hard fabric to find. I found it online, on eBay, I found Harley fabric. So I made hers out of Harley fabric pattern fabric. So basically what I did was I just folded these up and put them into the box. And I made my boxes too and I can show you that on another tutorial. I'll do a box. Um, but I can make them whatever size that I want. So, because they're very girly in our shop, I thought what I would do is use pink paper. So I, it's, this is wrapping 101, but I had a mother who was pretty fussy about her wrapping. So I just have carried on being exactly like that. show you what I mean by that in a second. So, when you have a box that's like this, your end should only be half the height of the height of the box. I've done this a little bit big. Hang on, let me just cut a little bit more off. So if it's half the height, it'll fold nicer. These are not the best scissors. My good scissors, I left them at work. I left them at work to do some wrapping at work. Okay, so basically you have to one side up, the other side up. See what I mean? If it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it doesn't bunch up. So you push that corner in to the very side and crease it. Same with this one. Then that way. Why oh, my box is falling away on me? And to make the edge be nice and neat, you fold that edge in. Most of you are probably going. Let's see if I'm going to go through all that. It just is so much simpler once you get the hang of it. It just makes it look so much neater. And so your end would look like that. I hope everybody's getting pretty close to ready for Christmas. And for those of you who don't, I kind of envy you because you don't have a whole lot you have to do. <laughs> but, hey, it's what you make of it, I think. This year I'm pretty organized and so I don't have that stress of running around in the days towards the end of it. So I'm not too stressed out. Okay, so what I was going to suggest I have a couple of different ribbons. I was at Michael's today and I found this one. It's really cute, but I have a feeling it's going to disappear as soon as I put it 
on this paper, you won't be able to see it. But it's not too bad, actually. I would only wrap this around once because it's like a belly band. It doesn't really need to have it around twice. And then there's this one, and this one's pretty too. And I thought that one would be pretty. But instead of doing, like I'll tie this one and then I'll tie a knot, maybe even a bow, but uh, I'll do this one. Those and I'll do this. Let's see how much we need. And we'll use the whole thing because that's what I got. And I'll probably tie a bow in it. That way I get the use out of all of this. So when I'm tying a bow, when I'm tying a bow, I basically a bow, I basically want both my loops to be the pattern on the outside, so I will wrap the center of the bow around with the pink showing the back side, so that I can pull the other side through with the pattern on it. That way I end up with my bow pattern on my ribbon fabric on the outside. Then you just have to twist your tail so that they face the right direction. All right, so that is one. And instead of using a big, uh, what do you call those big bows, that the fluffy bow, I would rather put something like a flower or something like that on it, or even a couple, just to give it a girly look. Okay, so that's just one idea. Another thing that can be done, and I did this on my Cricut, you need a 24 inch mat, 12 by 24 inch mat, but I made a couple of these as little gift box, gift bags. They're kind of a slash box bag, and they are, what Cricut cartridge is it? I'll put a link on the bottom. Uh, oh gosh. Cartridge it's on. It comes with a little box inside and then it folds up and the flap I put velcro on it and a little bead or a bling and just I used my gypsy to cut out a shadow of the same shape but I made it a little bit smaller so that I could put something in there for a friend just either candies or something some small gift so that was cute, that's a neat way of doing things, and you just use your craft paper with that. So I uh, hope you like the ideas that I've given you. Um, one of the other things that I'm going to be giving out for my girlfriend's kids are these. I saw somebody on YouTube doing stuff like this, and I thought it was really cute. It's got a brown nose for each of the reindeers, and the red one for Rudolph. So I thought it was really cute, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to attach them to their presents so that their kids can have a gift too. Bye. Have a great day.